again <laughs> and um, I have a little bit of a different setup right now as you can see instead of me pulling all of my items out and putting them in a container like I normally do and just working out of the container I'm just gonna work out of my drawer and put the stuff in here so I can put it back <laughs> so just keeping it easy and simple today and um, I don't think I tried that many new items so I'm really just gonna try and run through these really quickly because I've probably already spoken about them. So let's just jump right in, you guys. So, and some items that I have in my drawer are items that actually just stay in my drawer. So I won't really talk a lot about those. This e.l.f. Jelly Pop Juicy Gloss, um, I, you know, love this. It's like reminiscent of old school gloss, you know, but I love having this close by when my lips feel a little dry to just pop some of this on. So this is something that I actually just keep in my drawer, you know, close by. This um, Nabla Lip Plumper, I just tried this out uh, in a recent video. I don't feel like it did anything to plump my lips, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this because unless I just want my lips to tingle for no reason, I have no use for this. <laughs> so right now it's just sitting here in my drawer uh another item that just stays in here is the elf holy hydration eye cream this is just like a cute little sample that i got and i don't really use eye creams as much as i used to but i want to kind of get back into it because you know it's good to moisturize under your eyes whenever you know they might be feeling a little dry or looking a little tired so I'm just keeping that close by for now. And then also, I keep my The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid close by just in case I feel like I need a little extra hydration. If I'm feeling, my skin's feeling a little bit too dry, then um, I can just use some of this and it really, really helps to boost my hydration. And then I also keep my Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil close by for the same reason if I ever have any areas of like extreme dryness on my face because I don't typically like to use face oils on a regular basis but occasionally I do so I like to keep this close by this one is getting low but I do have a backup so it's all good so the first item that I actually pulled for my shop my stash is this Juno and Co moonshine miracle cream I've been using this I love this packaging it's so cool but I've been using this. I love this. You guys already know that if you're, you know, a regular on my channel. I've really been digging in. <laughs> you really don't need to use a lot of this, though. But I like to use a good amount because it really, really makes my skin feel nice and soft. So that can go back. I also picked the Biro Tomato Serum. If you guys are familiar, you know that I love this serum. Very, very nice hydrating serum. It doesn't smell like anything. Um, yeah, it doesn't smell like anything, but it is very fresh and clean feeling. So I really like this, you know, already knew that. I pulled my Milk Hydro Grip Primer for this um, shop my stash and I really like this stuff. I already knew that I liked it, but just using it over the past few weeks, I really like it. So this is something that I'll probably, actually, you know what, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in my drawer for now. And so um, for a setting mist, I chose my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Setting Mist. I like this stuff as well. Very, very hydrating. This is just like a cute little, um, you know, like sample bottle, I think. I don't know. It's, this can't be the full size. It's too small. But anyway, this is good for travel. So I think I'm going to put this back and save it for when I start traveling again. 
um, instead of using it up, I'm gonna put that back. Now, for concealers, I do have my L'Oreal Full Wear Infallible that I chose. This is a really nice concealer in my opinion. It gave me great coverage. I have Honey 415. It gave me great coverage and it blends into my foundation nicely. You know, it just doesn't dry down super fast or, you know, dry out or anything like that. So I really like this concealer. This um, Essence Camouflage Concealer, you guys know I always keep this close by because I typically use this to cover my dark circles and hyperpigmentation. It just works out well to me. It's in dark mocha. I feel like this must have a little bit of like a pink undertone or something like that because I don't know, it just works really, really well on my dark circles. So I'm assuming maybe it has kind of like a peachy undertone or something to it. It just, it looks very neutral to me, but I'm trying to figure out why it works so well on my dark circles, but it does. Now this Uma Beauty um, Double Take stick it has the contour and then it also has the highlight so this is another item that i just kind of keep in my drawer for those times if i ever want to do a cream contour which isn't very often but whenever i do i kind of like to just keep this close by so i can use that um for powder i did try out this tatcha silk powder um it's a nice powder it really is i can't i have no complaints about it it's very nice very light um this is what it looks like this one is the translucent i believe but for me it's just it i i really like to have something under my eyes that adds a little bit of warmth along with the brightness yeah radiant translucent setting powder Something about this is just not my favorite. I don't know why, but something about this is just not my favorite. So we gonna put that back. <laughs> this Peach Perfect from Too Faced, I really like this, I do. And I know that it's a nice, it's a really nice loose powder. Um, it's translucent caramelized peach, but it's a really nice loose powder. And it gives me that nice little bit of warmth, you know, under my eyes. So I really enjoyed using this. This uh, J-Cat Aquasurance, very, very nice uh, powder to set your face. This is actually a compact foundation. This one is an espresso. I think that I, I must have one that's um, a little bit warmer than this because although I know that I really really like this powder I know I have two shades and I think the other shade I might like better I just don't know what it is but this worked out well I already know that I like that this XX Revolution bronzer <laughs> this I don't did I pull this I don't know if I pulled this from my shot mustache I think I might have just threw this in here this one is in the shade candid I used this recently as well it's a bronzer, but it's way too light for me. It's the same as my skin tone. So I had started using this under my eyes and stuff for my dark circles. It works fine. It, it, it does. It works fine for that. I don't like using it more than I do my Essence Camouflage for my dark circles, but this works in a pinch as well. So at least I can repurpose that even though it's too light to be a bronzer. For my foundations, I chose my Estee Lauder Double Wear as well as my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. And when I pulled these two, I didn't realize that I was pulling two matte foundations. I do kind of like to mix it up if I can with a dewy foundation and a matte foundation, you know, so I can use whatever I feel like using that day. But yeah, they just both, both happen to be matte foundations. This CoverGirl True Blend, what I like about this, along with the coverage, is for me, it's a very, very comfortable matte. So it's a nice, comfortable, you know, decent to long wearing, affordable foundation. So that's what I do like about this. I do like the shade. I have D15 that works pretty well for me. So I enjoyed that. 
This here, the Estee Lauder, if you're familiar with this foundation, you know it is a very, very nice foundation. I mean, when I use this, I look flawless. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, it's nothing else to say about it. It's, you just look flawless with this. So, very, very nice. Now, this little tube here, this is a sample from, uh, I think I got it from Sephora. It's a Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer, but the color that I got in my little sample is more like a foundation shade for me than a concealer. So, I put this in here just so I can remember to use this because I want to use this and try it out as a foundation, <laughs> quite honestly, just so it doesn't go to waste. So that's basically everything from this drawer that's going to be coming out. This is just my little powder holder container, which makes it really, really easy for me to just sprinkle powder in here and use it. So I like to have that and keep that close by. Okay, so now I just scooted you guys down so that I can go through this drawer right quick. Let's start over here with these bronzers. So I did choose this Revolution Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer. This one is in the shade Dark. I love these Revolution bronzers. I already knew that. This is what it looks like. Very, very nice bronzer. But we're going to put that back. I also chose this Beauty Bay bronzer in the shade chestnut this was my first time using this i believe um very nice bronzer as well as a matter of fact i really really like this but it does pull red so if you don't like a bronzer that pulls a bit red and you're my skin tone then you might not like this but for me i really enjoyed using it but it does pull red <laughs> And then this Danessa Myrix. You guys, I'm tempted to keep this in my shop, my stash this week because this is the Danessa Myrix, um, what is it called? Power Bronzer in the shade Deep. And this is a cream bronzer, as you can see. And I was really surprised. You can see where I used it. It's It got darker which really surprised me because the outer, the color on the outer rim, you can see it's a little bit lighter, um, not as deep and dark. But then when I dipped into it to use it, it got really dark. <laughs> so this is really more like a contour for me and it is extremely pigmented. So when I used it the first time, I didn't really care for how my complexion came out because it looked like I had a couple of bruises on my face and it was a little more pigmented than I thought it would be. So I think I'm gonna keep this in my shop, my stash, play with it, try to get a little more familiar with it and learn how to use it without overdoing it. And then I will give you, you know, my opinion after trying it a little bit more. Uh, what else do we have? Let's go through the highlighters. This Tower 28 was not part of my shop, my stash. This is the Bronzino in West Coast. So it's actually, I guess, a bronzer, but I love it as a highlighter and I keep it in my drawer <laughs> because I love it that much. This uh, Give Me Glow Sunset Glow Highlighter. Oh, I love this. What I love about it is the rosy goldness of it oh my goodness it's so beautiful you guys i really really like this highlighter oh i kind of want to keep it but i can't i need to switch it out uh, this next highlighter here from kiss the glow and bronze powder very very beautiful if you like a serious goldy bronze highlight on your cheeks you know if you're not afraid of highlight then this is for you you can tone it down a bit but this shows up very very easily i actually picked this up from my local beauty supply but i'm sure you can get it in other places i have the medium shade medium so very very pretty um this also just stays in my drawer this is the wet n wild mega glow hello halo liquid um highlighter just in case i ever want to use a liquid i keep this close by and then I pulled this Juvia's Place, the Heroin Glow One. I like this. This is really nice. This is a baked highlighter. Um, it went on nicely with a brush. I was kind of concerned just looking at it. I was like, 
is it gonna work well with a brush but it did and it really is it's really nice this is my first time using it so you can kind of see there you know how it looks very pretty so yeah I enjoyed this as well it's not anything you know remarkable about it like with the give me glow one I love the fact that it's rosy gold but this is a very nice highlighter as well now I need my little makeup cloth so that I can wipe off my swatches <laughs> get that out of the shot okay so let's talk about blush I pulled this covergirl true blend so flushed and this one is in the shade um, hot frenzy you would think I would remember that name but this is hot frenzy and this blush is not for the faint at heart I love 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 how this looks on my cheeks it's absolutely gorgeous just a little dab will do you little dab you guys but it's very very pretty next for blush I pulled this Milani um, cheek kiss in blushing berry I don't even know if I use this did I use this I don't recall using this but I have used it before I like Milani blushes the cream ones as well as the powder ones this is a very beautiful shade you know what I did use this now that I recall I did and it's very pretty you know no need to go into extra detail very nice very pretty cream blush now this here I know I did not pull this this is one of my new ColourPop cheek do serum blushes <laughs> I put this in my drawer so I can play with it a little bit more I first got some of these with the what is it the lush life collection that jungle themed collection very very pretty and if you like like seriously pigmented blushes you probably won't like this because <laughs> this is very very sheer but if you do like um a dewy look with your makeup and you like just uh, barely a hint of blush i mean a whisper of blush <laughs> you will probably like these because they are very dewy this is a serum blush uh, this one here is in the shade Passion Flower. I did pick up the ones that came in their cherry collection that they just came out with not too long ago. That little red palette with the little hair clips and stuff. So I don't remember which is from which. But anyway, I put this in my drawer so I can play with it some more and develop, you know, more of an opinion regarding whether or not I love it. But they're they're cool. I like them. Um, this I just threw in here and this actually needs to go in my drawer because I have not used this yet and I really wanted to try it. This is a NARS blush. I believe this came in my BoxyCharm that I forgot to cancel. So this is their uh, famous orgasm shade, which I've never had or anything. But I want to try it because I want to see what all the hubbub is about. I'm like, it don't look all that fancy to me. But I guess since it's supposed to be a universal shade, we'll see how it looks on me. But I'm, a, um, I'm just going to keep it in my drawer for now. Even though it's not part of my shop, my stash. This Revolution blush. This one is Rose Kiss. Very, very pretty. I only use this like once or twice, I think very beautiful basic like dusty rose shade of blush with the um revolution blushes i'm going on top of the highlighter but they're very very pretty you do need to build them up but if you like a more natural kind of you know looking blush just a hint of color these are perfect for that absolutely beautiful they are pigmented but you just have to build them up to your desired pigmentation. You see that? That's gorgeous on the cheek. And then lastly for blush, I did choose this Roxy palette. Blush Burst palette. <laughs> this thing is gorgeous. It is so, so pretty. Um, honestly, I think I just took my brush and just swirled it in these four very very gorgeous um nicely pigmented as well the shades in here are perfect for summer but you can use this all year round to be honest with you because it does have a beautiful i guess it kind of depends maybe on your undertone or whatever but for me this is a lovely lovely shade of blush this whole quad right here these are a bit light you know so more fair skin tones can use those but over here is perfect for me Okay, and I think the only other thing that I've really been using 
consistently for like the past few shot my stashes is my thrive cosmetics mascara i haven't wanted to give this up but i think i am going to switch this out to try a different mascara for a few weeks so we're going to go ahead and put this back Okay, you guys, so let's just quickly run through the palettes that I used over the last couple of weeks. You guys know when I pull my palettes from my shop mustache, I don't always use the palettes that I pull. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I use newer palettes that I might have gotten in my collection since my shop mustache. And sometimes I just pick other palettes because it really does depend on how I feel when I sit down to do my makeup. If I'm not feeling a palette, I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> so these are the palettes that I did get around to using. Um, this first one here is the volume one. This one is from E Unique Beauty. And I always forget the name of this collection. Uh, anywho, this is what the palette looks like. Absolutely gorgeous, I mean, these shades are so beautiful. Now, I did combine this palette with my Give Me Glow Vivid Rose palette. So, I did combine these two palettes together. So, this is what this one looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. And then the Vivid Rose, I'm sure you guys are familiar with. But this is what the Vivid Rose looks like. Let me do it this way because I'm probably going to put a picture of the look okay so I had to adjust a little bit <laughs> but this is what the vivid rose looks like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have pictures of the look on the screen so I just wanted to adjust so I could fit this in the screen as well this palette is really nice really really nice really pretty the shimmers are gorgeous I really didn't have any issues with blending out the mattes and Honestly, I feel like it paired very, very nicely with this Unique Beauty or E Unique Beauty palette. E Unique Beauty has some of the most absolute gorgeous shimmers. They really do. So anyway, I loved using these two palettes together. Um, I also did a look using this Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette. I've had this palette for I don't know how long when I tell you a long time I've had this for a long time and I finally dusted it off and decided to use it <laughs> so this is the look that I did with this palette I absolutely loved it so easy so fun I think I used maybe four shades I think I went in I went in with this gorgeous red shade here blended it out with this shade here which is what is that demure so this shade is Man Eater, this shade is Demure, and then I deepened it up with Black Truffle, of course, and on the lid, I put Pink Diamond. And so, very, very easy, simple, halo eye look, but it came out gorgeous, so I really enjoyed using this palette. I would say the mattes are not my absolute favorite, but with building it up and being able to blend them out with the lighter shades, it worked out just fine. Next, I have here my Sweet Shop Pistachio Palette. Beautiful, beautiful greens from BH Cosmetics. Very nice, affordable palette. I don't think these... I know that they came back with a restock recently. I don't know if they still have these available, but y'all, you know, I love all of these palettes. They're absolutely amazing. I also use the new Clarity Cosmetics Cobra palette. So this is what she looks like. And, you know, has a little snake skin pattern. Very cool. I noticed that Clarity has been coming out with palettes, shoot, almost like ColourPop. <laughs> they, they are really popping them out lately. Cause I just saw uh, something on Instagram today that they were releasing a new palette pretty soon that has like square pans and it has a brush in there. So that's pretty interesting. So I can't wait to see what that's gonna be. And then they also have that Carnival palette, that colorful one, but this is the one that just you know dropped when I picked my palettes. And so I did a look with this, absolutely loved it. My husband made a guest appearance on my Instagram when I used that. And this one here, I received right before my shop my stash. This is one of the Sydney Grace and Temptalia collab palettes. I did do a video actually using this one. 
This one is the Radiant Reflection in Light. So a couple of the palettes that I got were the light version and I don't mind it at all. With these palettes, um, some people might feel like they need to be companion palettes because there's not enough mattes to really go along with all of these beautiful shimmers, but I don't mind it. It worked out well for me the way that I did my eye look when using this. I kind of uh, went in, you know, with this dark purple here in my crease and blended that out. Even though it's a satin type shadow, it worked out nicely. So, anywho. And then lastly, I did use my Be Perfect Dream Big Manifest palette. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. This palette <laughs> is a lot. It is a lot. I mean, with the colors and the layout, I almost didn't purchase this palette because to me, the layout is just not the best. <laughs> you know, if you're not someone who's very familiar and comfortable with using color, this palette might confuse you. So yeah, I think they could have done a better job with the layout, but as far as the shadows, oh my gosh, very, very nice. I was pretty surprised actually by the um, pigmentation and the shimmers, very, very pretty. Like the shimmers, let me just go ahead and, you know, kind of swatch a few so you can see what I mean. Like if you use your fingers on these shimmers, you know, very easy to um, apply them, you know, to your eyes. Very pigmented. Um, some of them are a little bit thicker, you know, a little bit more chunky or whatever, but they're absolutely gorgeous. I prefer to use, um, you know, like a glitter glue with these because they are a little bit chunkier a little bit thicker than you might think they would be but they're very pretty as you can see really really nice so i was pleasantly surprised by this palette i really really liked it okay you guys so it's time to come over here and shop for the upcoming few weeks um if you're familiar with my shop my stashes you can see here that i'm actually in the process of transitioning from my cute little plastic drawers into the standard <laughs> beauty youtuber white drawers which actually hold more of my items and they help me to dig through them easier and actually see what i have so i'm kind of in the process of moving things around i used to have my moisturizers in here but i'm actually moving those as well so I just put them over here until I get the rest of my drawers put together. But anywho, let's go ahead and pick a couple of foundations. I do want to do, um, I've been enjoying doing like a little bit of a higher end foundation and then a more affordable foundation as well. So I am going to pick two. And I'm going to pick this Clinique right here. This is one that I picked up from Sephora on sale recently. It says it's super balanced silk makeup, broad spectrum SPF 15. Uh, what shade is this? Silk Sable, 18 Silk Sable. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out because I'm very curious about this and it was on sale. So we'll see how that one does. And then on our more affordable drugstore site. Oh, you guys, you know what? <laughs> I have not used, oop, Pretty Fresh wants to fall, but I have not used my Wet n' Wild in forever. This is the shade Espresso, and yeah, I want to check this out and see if I still want to keep it or not. So these will be my two foundations for this Shop My Stash, the Clinique and the Wet n' Wild. Okay, and while I'm over here, you know, going through my little turntables as I like to call them um I do need to pick a primer so actually I had to stick some primers over here and this is one that I have not really been able to try yet this is the Huda Beauty what is this called I've really been loving my Huda Beauty products lately that I've been trying out because I never really bought Huda Beauty before but I'm really really liking her stuff so this is the water jelly and 
it says it's a hydrating primer and it definitely looks like it's hydrating so I'm gonna try this out and let you guys know how I feel about this and I've decided to just do one primer because you know it kind of helps me to stay focused so I do have the ColourPop setting no I said I was gonna put that back okay so I do need to pick a new setting spray I haven't really been that concerned about a setting spray holding my makeup quite honestly because I'm more concerned with hydration and just keeping my face nicely hydrated and so I like hydrating mists and sprays and stuff so I have this Milani rose water prep and refresh oh this one is really light should I finish this off hmm Maybe I should finish that off. I'm gonna put that one to the side. But I haven't used my Milani Make It Last in a while. And this is a really, really good setting spray. It's excellent. So yeah, let me go ahead and grab this because I haven't used that in a while. Okay, so I do need to pick a serum. Hmm. I have no thoughts in regards to a serum for... Oh, this used to be one of my favorites. This Peach and Lily, um, what is it, the glass skin? Let's see if I can get this to focus. Lighting is crazy. There we go. So this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum used to be one of my absolute favorites. Haven't used this in a long time, you guys. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this. Okay, so I did move all of my moisturizers into these little drawers for now um hmm. you know what there was a moisturizer that I was thinking about not too long ago this one here this glassy this is the um pretty filter glassy skin balm and this stuff is really, really nice. I like this a lot. Cute little container as well. So let's go ahead and pull this. Okay, we may as well pull concealer while we're over here. I'll be so glad when I get the rest of my drawers. Um, kind of tired of these little plastic ones. But they have held up very nicely for me, you guys. I got these on Amazon. And, you know, they do hold a good amount of makeup, to be honest with you. But I just need a change in my life. That's all. <laughs> so, I think I want to use this ColourPop concealer. Because I haven't used the ColourPop No Filter Concealers in a very long time. And I used to love these. These used to be like my ride or die. So, I really want to see if I still feel the same way after using so many other concealers, you know? And then I also want to try out a new concealer. So I'm going to go ahead, pull this Kylie um, concealer that I got for free when I ordered, was it from Ulta or Sephora? I don't remember, child, but I got it free from somebody. I think it was Ulta. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pull that. Okay, and I said I was going to choose a different mascara. So I was kind of going through... Um, mascaras and trying to get a little bit more organized so these two bins are like drugstore more affordable and these two are more high-end or you know whatever so I think I want to pull this LA girl jet setter mascara for this shop my stash let me open her up so you can see what she looks like okay so that's what the wand looks like looks like a pretty decent uh, wand size and shape so yeah I'm excited to try this one out okay you guys so I told myself I wasn't going to pull any new eyelashes because I have a lot of eyelashes over you know by my desk where I actually <laughs> put my makeup on but I got these little faux lash vaults from ColourPop aren't they cute see if I can get a little more light aren't these so cute and I think I got it on sale for like 20 bucks or 22 bucks or something for eight pairs of lashes I thought that was a good deal so I'm gonna pull this because I do want to try some of these and see if I like them and yes I did get two don't judge me okay <laughs> 
Okay, you guys, so let's see if I can get this angle halfway decent <laughs> to be able to film. And when I was like switching out my stuff and putting it in these drawers, I was like, girl, you are in love with highlighters. <laughs> I have way too many highlighters, you guys, which you already know that, but child, it's ridiculous. Okay, so anyway, um... I don't even know where to start. I really, really don't. I have my DJ's Unique Boutique. Her new highlighter that she came out with, the loose highlighter, is so gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. So, that might just become a staple in my drawer, to be honest with you. I got this loose highlighter in, remember I said I forgot to cancel my boxy charm. So, I got the ABH box that they just sent out with the palette and the powder and the highlighter and all that good stuff this is called peach fizz and it actually looks very very like pinky in the jar but when you swatch this i'll swatch a little bit just in case you know anybody's curious if i can get some of this on my hand but it's actually a really really pretty peachy toned highlighter I don't know if you can see that. The light might be too bright. Hold on. Okay, turn it down just a little bit. But yeah, it's actually a really, really pretty highlighter. So it's gorgeous, but I don't really move. I don't use loose highlighters a lot, so I, I wouldn't pick two loose highlighters. Um, Let's see. Milani? No. Nika K. Hmm. No. Revolution Pro. What is this? This is Golden Glare. Have I tried this, you guys? I don't know. Golden Glare. See how pretty that is? I don't feel like my lighting is, is right. Hold on. Let me see. Is it better bright? Maybe. Okay. So this is Golden Glare. Very pretty. Oh, so it, it's very... um. How can I say is very subtle very subtle not too much so that's pretty but yeah I don't want nothing subtle right now hmm revolution I can always do Ofra Ofra is always very bold and pigmented very pretty uh you know what let me look at my See, this is ridiculous. I don't even know. Can you guys even see? Look at this. This is ridiculous, okay? Um, Artist Couture. This is really gorgeous. This one here. I used this recently. Oh my gosh, this one is super pretty. Honey, honey Drip. This is going to be really, really tough, you guys. Really, really tough. ABH Natasha Denona Glow Gold. Have I used this? Oh, that is very gold. Very, very gold. I'm not in the mood for that. It's pretty, but that is very gold. Hmm. Oh, this is something new that I have from Huda Beauty. You know how I mentioned I've really been loving her stuff. This is Nymph. And this is a Skin Glowing Perfector. It's a glaze in the shade Juno. So it's actually like cream, you know? You see that? I used this once and it is, <laughs> it's very um, glowy. It really makes you glow, but it's gorgeous. I don't know if you can, dang, I could, this is a terrible angle for me. I don't know if you can see that. But it's so gorgeous. Oh, that is so, so pretty. Gorgeous. So, I think I'm going to pull this and play with this a little bit more. Okay. I also got this bold and brilliant um, highlighter palette from Gourmand Gross Cosmetics. They sent me this as well as a palette to try out. It's a very, very pretty um, highlighter palette and so I think I am going to pull this just so that I will remember to try this out and then I also got this 
Glodiant Makeup Palette. I, I got this from the Boxy add-on, I believe. It's really pretty. It's supposed to be like a highlighter, blush, bronzer, all-in-one type thing. And this is from, what are they called? Touch and Soul. So yeah, this is gorgeous and I really, really want to play with this. So I'm going to pull that. So I had to grab the camera because it was getting too difficult to get the angle right. So for bronzer, hmm, I already kind of have an idea of what I want to use for bronzer. Um, when I was talking about my different face palettes and stuff, I said that I wanted to try out this Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar again because I don't remember liking it. And this is so hard to do with one hand. <laughs> I don't remember liking it and I really want to figure out what it is that I do or don't like about it. So I'm going to pull this to try out the bronzer, blush, and highlight. And then I also wanted to pull a cream bronzer and I remembered that I did pick up the new e.l.f. cream bronzers or putty bronzers and I haven't tried them yet. So I did get the last three shades. So as you can see here, I have a dark one. I have this, you know, one that I think is gonna work for me. And then I have this lighter one, which might work as well, I'm not sure. So I think I'm going to pull this one here. It's always hard to find the names on these, but they're super duper small, like on this little writing, uh, Sun Kissed. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull Sun Kissed and see how that works. If it doesn't work, you know, I'll try the lighter one and try the darker one and see how that goes. So we'll pull this. For now and I think I want to pull one more bronzer just for good measure <laughs> y'all know how I do oh I love this Juvia's bronze in dark it's so pretty let me not break it it's so pretty dang I want to pull this I just used this not too long ago though I really shouldn't be using the same stuff over and over again that's the whole point of a shop my stash is so that you use your stuff you know and try out your different products and get use out of them so i'm not gonna pull it i don't think i've used this alamar yet have i used this you guys hmm this is the brighton and bronze complexion trio let me go ahead and pull this because i have no thoughts about this at all so i'm gonna pull this it's time to move on to blush <laughs> you know what uh i can't I can't I cannot it's I can't I can't let's pick another drawer see if I can pick a drawer that would be a little bit easier to choose from hmm do I want to go cream oh you know what I, I really do I need to pull one of these Nika K palettes because these are so bomb and so affordable I want to play with this I feel like playing with this, so I'm gonna pull this. Okay, um, I did get this, you know, these Jaclyn Hill, these are supposed to be highlighters, but for my skin tone, quite honestly, I feel like these are um, like illuminated blushes because they do have color in them. So, hmm, I wanna try one of these out, at least one. So let's see, which one? Oh, that one's pretty. Maybe I should try this one. Yeah, I think I'll try this one. This one is really, really gorgeous. As you can see, this is turned on. Okay, and I think I want to pull one more little blush palette. So this is actually a very pretty palette from Zoeva that my girl Lily sent me. And I want to try this out. Sorry for the one-handed <laughs> filming, you guys. But do you see these gorgeous colors? Ooh, and there's a highlighter in there too. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this. Very, very pretty. Okay, so we have highlight, bronzer, blush. We need uh, powder. And I think, mm, I think I wanna keep this fairly simple today, you guys. So... I think we're just going to do our infallible powders. So I'm going to pull this infallible powder, 
Pro Matte in the shade 600 Golden Beige and use that for under my eyes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull the dark one for the rest of my face. This is 355 Sienna. And so that'll just take care of my powders and that'll do it. Okay, you guys, so I pulled quite a few palettes. Um, that's because I'm still in the process of deciding. I haven't finalized my choices yet. <laughs> So I'm just going to show you everything that I've pulled thus far because, ciao, I'm, I'm still picking. Okay, so this is the new Kodan palette from Adept Cosmetics. I just got this actually mm, a couple days ago and it's really, really pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness. This palette is gorgeous. I love Adept Cosmetics love their shadows their shimmers especially the latest ones that they've been coming out like within these style of palettes all their shimmers are gorgeous but it's something about the latest ones that they've been coming out with they've just been amazing so really excited to use this i think it's going to be a lot of fun it's not you know your typical palette where you just look at it and know exactly what type of look you're gonna do some might actually see this as a companion palette because of the fact that the mattes are this like dark green and this super bright pink you know so with the rest being shimmers it's kind of like mm, you might not know what you want to do so me looking at it i love it i think it's beautiful so i definitely pulled this I pulled a couple of Moira palettes because as I was going through my collection, I was realizing that I don't think I've used any of my Moira palettes, even though I've purchased quite a few when they were on sale. This one is the Wild in Colors. This is a exotic series palette. Very, very pretty packaging. And let me show you what she looks like. So this is what she looks like inside. So, you know, pretty blue heavy. You have the purple and green, but there's some other splashes of color in there as well. Kind of a strange, you know, layout for the palette, but at least it's symmetrical, you know? So I pulled that, but this is still a maybe, really. This one here is Never Ending Lights from Moira. Another beautiful, beautiful package. And these are the colors in here. It definitely reminds me of like a butterfly or something, you know, cause the little wings over there. But, you know, who knows? Let me see, what does it say? Yeah, and they are cruelty free. But yeah, it could be, you know, like some other type of bug that lights up. I don't know, but <laughs> it's really cute. So this is a maybe as well. This uh, Revolution Time Self X that I got in my latest haul, the Super Spice. I feel like I really, really want to try this out. I need to use it. It's a very pretty color story. So I did pull this. Now this is the palette from the brand that I told you about that sent me the palette and the highlighter to try out. So this is from Gourmand Girls times Krista Rice makeup so it's a collab palette it's called Spectra um and I'm really excited to try this out this is an indie brand that I had never heard of until I saw Leora Cosmetics um with this palette and using it I thought it was so so pretty so colorful look at all the colors in there very very vibrant very bold and they look to me to be very pigmented. So I'm excited to try this out. I'll have to do like some type of bold, beautiful, colorful look with this. Y'all, I am getting tired. I feel my steam <laughs> running out as I'm speaking. So <laughs> if I sound like I'm running out of steam, honey child, it's because I am, okay? So this is my Omo Liwa palette that my girl DJ sent me for my birthday it's your birthday it's your birthday so yeah my birthday is actually this sunday but i want to use this palette during my next shot my stash is so so pretty so this is what she looks like now let me just pull all of these out because i'm definitely not going to keep all of these palettes you know to use but I pulled these three let me just start off with these three because I want to do a purple look you know I love purple 
and I just couldn't decide which purple palette to use. So this is the That's My Jam from Too Faced. I love this cute little tin packaging. Like, are you kidding me? That is so freaking cute. <sighs> but the shadows are absolutely gorgeous. Now, you know, it's not like a super duper purple palette, but you know, I know an eye look using this will definitely pull purple. So very pretty and I do want to try this out actually. So I'll probably keep that one. This is the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions that I bought not too long ago, which had I knew about the new Norvina palette that came out, the volume five, the purple one, I wouldn't have bought this because <laughs> I don't need both of them. But this palette to me is absolutely gorgeous. And so I might do a palette mashup to be honest with you because I really do want to use both of these. So these might actually be a good mashup. So yeah, I'm gonna pull both of these and probably use them together. I pulled this one. This is my makeup, Plain and Makeup by Yolando palette, uh, Mixy Mauves, or however you say it, Mixy Mauves, Mixy Moves, um, which is funny to me because I guess purple and mauve is like the same thing, but honey, this is purple, <laughs> purple, purple. But yeah, so it has, you know, mauve, purple, but there's only one shimmer in here. So, eh. and then there's a glitter, which I haven't really been in the mood for glitter. So yeah, I don't see that happening. But the other colors in here are so rich and deep. Man, they are pretty. Let me turn this light down a little bit. There we go. You see how rich and deep and gorgeous those are? That's pretty. So that's why I have three purple palettes because I can't decide. Maybe it'll be a, a trio mashup. What do you think? Maybe. Okay. And then I pulled these two palettes to use together. This is the new Juvia's uh, Rebel Honey palette. Artwork. Artwork. Gorgeous as usual. And this is the color story. So it's just beautiful, like, hmm, how can I describe it? I would describe it kind of like golden bronze. Very, very pretty. So I pulled that to couple with this new Nabla Analog Cutie Palette because while this palette is very pretty, it's not really my vibe. You know, it's not really my style. So I definitely have a desire to mash it up with something so i'm thinking that i need to mash these two you know what i'm saying so it'll still be like a warm neutral look but it'll have a little bit of added flair with the golden bronze so yeah i think i'm gonna mash these two together and then i have why did i pull this oh because i hmm I want to do a blue look, but I don't want to use both Napa palettes for some reason. This palette is bomb. Okay, I know why I pulled it. I'm looking at it right now. It's pretty. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And that's why I pulled it. <laughs> and then this color pops so very lovely. Look at the packaging. It's so very lovely. And then this is what the palette looks like. Very pretty. At first glance, you might look at this and think, especially online, you might look at it and be like, mm, that's kind of, eh. But honestly, in person, it's really, really pretty. It really is. It is gorgeous. This color story is very, very, very pretty. So I pulled that. This is probably going back. I mean, I pulled this just because, I don't know, I'm kind of in the mood to just do a dark gray and black and silver smoky eye. So, you know what? No, I'm going to keep this because I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. <laughs> so, this is the ColourPop Blow and Smoke palette. Just in case you're not familiar. But yeah, it's just your basic black and gray and silver smoky palette. And these... I actually just pulled these today um, with my ColourPop palettes because I have about a million ColourPop palettes and I'm not exaggerating. It can get overwhelming for me to pick a palette because ColourPop does 
a palette like every 30 minutes. So their color stories can be very similar for their palettes. You open them up, it's like, okay, mauve palette, burgundy palette, pinky palette, red palette, you know, light blue, dark blue. You know, it's just... <sighs> So what I decided that I'm going to do whenever I can't figure out what color pop palette I want to use is I'm just going to go through and pull out some of the shadows and make my own palette. So that's what this is. This is just a bunch of shadows that I pulled out of my ColourPop palettes because if you're not aware, they are magnetic. All of ColourPop shadows are magnetic so you can pop them out and rearrange them if you want. And so I just popped out some colors that I thought were really pretty that I really wanted to play with. And this is what I came up with. So yeah, some of these are who like, ciao. Just look, I don't know if you can see those. Look, you see how pretty those are? ColourPop really has some gorgeous shadows, but they get a bad rap because they come out with way too many um, you know, too many collections. And so people get sick of ColourPop, but when I tell you that their shadows be sha-popping, oh, that was too close. They do, they be sha-popping. They're really, really pretty, you know, affordable. You can mix and match and interchange and stuff like that. So yeah. Oh, I gotta swatch this purple. Wait, hold on. I don't feel like I did that green it's true justice with my pinky, you know? But that's gorgeous. And let me swatch this purple, honey. So these are just shadows from a bunch of different ColourPop palettes that I have that you might have in your collection as well. And I just kind of popped them out and mixed them together. So that is that. And I think I'm just going to keep my palettes in this little drawer for now because it's very handy. And easy to access. So these are my palettes. Okay, you guys, so these are all of my latest Shop My Stash items. Thanks so much for helping me pick them out. You guys are the best. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles! Doctor